Part 4, Writing. There are various stages of writing. You have pre-writing, first draft, edit, and final draft. All of these are a part of writing. Good writing is more than just sitting down and talking on a piece of paper. Good writing involves thinking, planning, writing, and revising. You may become a good writer by always using these four steps. Step number one is to pre-write to get ideas and organize them. Step number two is to write the first draft. Step number three is to edit, which is check and revise your work. And step number four is write the final copy. In the pre-writing step, we get ideas to write about. Free writing is one way to gather ideas. Here's how to do free writing. Choose a topic and write it at the top of a piece of paper. Then write whatever sentences come into your mind about the topic. Don't worry about grammar, spelling, or punctuation. Don't worry about putting your ideas into any kind of order. Don't even write complete sentences. The goal is to keep writing without stopping for about 10 minutes or until you run out of ideas. My grandmother, she was a good cook, the best cook. Every weekend we have a big dinner with big, big bowls of food. Lots of talking. Everybody in the family there. Every time we eat the same food. But we always love it. Is our favorite meal. She never mad at us. She always defends us when we are in trouble with our parents. One time I picked all the roses in her garden. She not even mad then. Grandmother kind and generous. She gives food to poor people. She never makes them feel bad about taking it. Makes people feel good, just as she made me feel good when I picked all the roses. Thanked me for the beautiful bouquet. Mother really angry. Grandmother always forgives. Forgiving heart. Edit your free writing. After you finish writing, edit your free writing. Edit means to review and change writing in order to improve it. Read what you have written and choose one main idea for your paragraph. Cross out ideas that aren't related to the one main idea. In this paragraph, the student has written about his grandmother's kindness. She crossed out the parts about cooking and food. Let's take a look. My grandmother. She never mad at us. She always defends us when we are in trouble with our parents. One time I picked all the roses in her garden. She not even mad then. Grandmother kind and generous, she gives food to poor people. She never makes them feel bad about taking it. Makes people feel good, just as she made me feel good when I picked all the roses. Thanked me for the beautiful bouquet. Mother really angry. Grandmother always forgives, forgiving heart. As you can see, this paragraph is about the grandmother's kindness and gener generosity. The sections that are crossed out are not about the grandmother's kindness. It is about how she cooks food. Step two, you have to write the first draft. You write your paragraph in rough form without worrying too much about errors. The first writing is called the first draft or the rough draft. Let's look at it again. Free writing about my grandmother. My grandmother kind and generous. She never mad at us. She always defends us when we are in trouble with our parents. One time I picked all the roses in her garden. She not even mad then. She gives food to poor people. She never makes them feel bad about taking it. Makes people feel good, just as she made me feel good when I picked all the roses. Thanked me for the beautiful bouquet. Mother really angry. Grandmother always forgives, forgiving heart. If you listen closely, you will be able to hear some of the mistakes that occurred in this paragraph. In the third step, you edit your paragraph. When you edit something, you check it and make changes and corrections. Editing is usually a two-step process. Process number one is, check the paragraph as a whole. Is the meaning clear? Number two is, check the paragraph for good form, organization, grammar, punctuation, spelling, and so on. In the last step, you write a neat final copy of your paragraph to hand in to your teacher. Here is the final copy of our model paragraph. The corrections made by the writer include these. He crossed out unnecessary sentences. He added missing subjects and verbs. He moved sentences. 
and he changed the ending to match the beginning. The final copy. Free writing about my grandmother. My grandmother is kind and generous. She always makes people feel good. One time I picked all the roses in her garden. She wasn't mad even then. She thanked me for the beautiful bouquet. Grandmother also gives food to poor people. She never makes them feel bad about taking it. She makes them feel good, just as she made me feel good when I picked all the roses. I will always remember my grandmother's forgiveness and generosity. End of Unit 1